23-ton chunk of dead space rocket is about to fall out of the sky. China successfully launched the third and final piece of its new Taingong space station on Monday, and the rocket's 23-ton body is coming back down somewhere on Earth this weekend. So here we go again. How many times has this happened with China? What's going on here? Debris from a Chinese space rocket is crashing toward Earth. Debris from a Chinese rocket is set to crash to Earth sometime over the next few days, with the potential for wreckage to land across a wide swath of the globe. This happened last year, in 2021. And this happened in 2020. Chinese rocket debris may have fallen on villages in the Ivory Coast after an uncontrolled re-entry. According to reports, debris from a Chinese rocket launched a week ago has fallen into at least two villages in the Ivory Coast following an uncontrolled re-entry of the rocket's core stage. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, what happened in 2019, you say? Adjust your location quickly. How China warns residents before rockets crash down from space. China successfully launched satellites to space last week, but a shower of rocket debris after the launch crushed buildings in the Sichuan province, captured in a video shared widely on social media. Now, if you are thinking that something happened back in 2018, you'd be right. China's space station may crash to Earth on April Fool's Day. The sky is falling again. China's first space station, Tiangong-1, abandoned and out of control, is expected to drop out of orbit around this weekend, with pieces of it likely to survive the fiery re-entry and crash somewhere on Earth. This was published back in March 2018. Now back in 2017, there was a lot of talk about falling space debris. And they announced that the Chinese space station debris would be falling out of the sky by 2018. Did any Chinese space debris fall out of the sky in 2016? Yes. So why does this keep happening? And come to think of it, there are many things about our skies that they hide. They really don't want us to see something that is up there. I'm not saying that this coming event has anything to do with it, but if they are making these great efforts to hide whatever is up there, then it's probably something that would change the world. So first of all, folks, you have to come to realize and understand that there is what we see here on the ground in pictures and on video, and then there is reality. When you go and look up at the night sky, what you see is only what you can see. Now, I'm not gaslighting you here, but space is not black. Even if you put a telescope or camera in space, it needs time for all that light that is there to hit the lens. So the reality is, in space around you is whiteness with a mixture of colors. Even when you run the math, there should be virtually no black spots in space. And in a white space, something like a black hole now makes sense because a black hole has an absence of light or should I say it curves light this is why if you want to spot a black hole you have to watch a certain area of the sky 
for sometimes years before you can see stars orbiting that black hole, which makes it visible because the light curves around it before entering the hole. So now no one has ever shown you or even attempted to render, as far as I know, a true representation of space. Something more like this picture here, just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. So, when you think about that, think about the true nature of things as they exist in reality. Have any of you ever heard of people seeing a grid in the sky? Not a grid pattern formed by planes spraying the skies. No, this seems to be more uniform and spread across the sky like a type of image. I have a friend who lives in California who claims to be able to see this grid and I have had them describe it to me several times. But I happened to run across an article about this. The Web in the Sky. As Margie Kay stood outside her Independence, Missouri home on the 26th of September 2007, she felt as if she were being watched. The feeling dragged her eyes upward to the night sky, only the bright stars visible through the city lights. She knew something was there, something she couldn't see. She stared for about 10 minutes, but nothing appeared. So she relaxed her eyes and focused on the night instead of trying to find an object. And something slowly grew in her vision, something she didn't expect. I saw this dark black web-like material that looked like it covered the entire night sky, she said. This web formed a grid overhead, crisscrossing the sky like a great black net. The matrix looked very black and darker than the night. What was it? Kay wondered. And could anyone else see it? And what's interesting about this is, like my friend, this person sees this black web in the sky all the time. And someone named... JT responded to Kay describing the same experience, accompanied with the sound of a hum. Not an audible hum, but more like a hum of life. It seemed active, JT said. I felt an energy that I suddenly wasn't oblivious to it anymore. I had a feeling of, okay, I get it now. So I guess to answer your question, yes, I saw the web. Kay has watched the night sky for years, and this web grid remains. It is still there every night, Kay said. It looks the same all the time. It is the same dark, random, web-like structure. I did a meditation on it last night and feel that this is something that connects everything in the universe. Now, Kay did have another interesting theory about what this grid may be. She said in her investigations, she thinks that UFOs and balls of light may use this grid of energy to travel on, which would allow them to make sharp, quick right angle turns without stopping. Yet another theory suggests that this could be some type of linear light polarization along a given plane which is said to appear as a bow tie shape or grid pattern to some people. Invertebrate animals can sense this as well as humans. Some people see the patterns and some people don't see anything. Now, when it comes to things that people can see, I want you guys to think about this for a moment. On any given day or night, when you look up, you don't see satellites or space debris or anything more than stars, right? Yet there is a bunch of debris up there, too far away for you to see. Now, if there was anything up there floating around in orbit that was not put there by us, then how do we know that what is falling out of the sky is man-made? Especially if it splashes into the ocean. We kind of have to go based on what's reported to us, right? Debris that orbits the Earth, typically depending on how far away from the surface it is, 
can stay up in orbit anywhere from several years to a thousand years or more. So imagine there existing space debris that is ancient. What would you call that? And what type of debris are we talking about? How many of you have ever heard of the Nuremberg phenomenon of 1561? Okay, so this was done by Hans Glaser, a letter painter of Nuremberg. And I'll just read what he wrote about the description of what sounds like a sky battle. In the morning of April 14, 1561, at daybreak, between 4 and 5 a.m., a dreadful apparition occurred on the sun, and then this was seen in Nuremberg in the city, before the gates and in the country, by many men and women. At first, there appeared in the middle of the sun two blood-red semicircular arcs, just like the moon in its last quarter, and in the sun, above and below and on both sides, the color was blood. There stood a round ball of partly dull, partly black ferrous color. Likewise, there stood on both sides and as a torus about the sun such blood-red ones and other balls in large number, about three in a line and four in a square, also some alone. In between these globes, there were visible a few blood-red crosses, between which there were blood-red strips becoming thicker to the rear and in the front malleable like the rods of reed grass, which were intermingled. Among them, two big rods, one on the right, the other to the left. And within the small and big rods, there were three, also four and more globes. These all started to fight among themselves, so that the globes, which were first in the sun, flew out to the ones standing on both sides. Thereafter, the globes standing outside the sun, in the small and large rods, flew into the sun. Besides, the globes flew back and forth among themselves and fought vehemently with each other for over an hour. And when the conflict in and again out of the sun was most intense, they became fatigued to such an extent that they all, as said above, fell from the sun down upon the earth as if they all burned. And they then wasted away on the earth with immense smoke. After all this, there was something like a black spear, very long and thick, sighted. The shaft pointed to the east, and the point pointed west. Whatever such signs mean, God alone knows. Now I bring these things up, folks, to say this. People have been seeing a lot of things in the sky forever. And some things just can't be explained away. When you think about something like Star Wars, if there were any evidence left of a space battle within the orbit of Earth, sure, there would probably be debris that already landed on Earth. And because most people wouldn't think that there would be any ancient craft centuries old, you probably wouldn't identify it as such if it were found, preserved. But would there also be ancient space battle debris orbiting the earth I think with the amount of stuff falling out of the sky we may eventually find out that's all for now and there is more to come be sure to visit woodwardentertainment.com and the Woodward Entertainment store you can follow me on Instagram at J-A-E Woodward everyone have a great evening or day keep your heads up and as always stay awake, stay aware, stay safe and I'll talk to you all soon.